Hey guys, quick video today. This is how the auxiliary heater remote for the Basto or Eberspracha. And I'm going to show you how to change the battery, what's the battery inside, and we are going to check if it actually works. Uh, does it uh, transmit anything? Okay, so first of all, this is the front, this is the back. We have a button over here to remove this piece now flip it over you need to push over here and this will allow you to remove the battery tray from inside the remote the battery over here is uh, 2430 this is i believe the size of the battery the thickness 2.4 millimeter and 30 millimeters over here and when installed it should be placed positive side uh, downwards to the plate to the plastic plate so the positive side is with the plus sign so the plus sign goes over here like so and right now let's just slide it in put this back in and the audi logo should be at the front like so and right now Let's check if it transmits anything. So let's mm, let's go to apps, sub gigahertz, frequency analyzer, and we are going to place it over here and press this. We can see that there's something on the display, and we can see that it transmits at 868 megahertz. So I believe it's working. It's pretty bright over here, so let me just do it again. You can see that it transmits the battery status and there, that there's no connection with the vehicle. This remote was not paired with the vehicle just yet, so that's coming up as well as full Vebasta retrofit over here in Audi S3. So this will be the same for other other MQB vehicles with um, with a petrol engine because uh, this auxiliary heater is not only it's not just for diesel cars it's also for petrol cars you can remotely heat up the vehicle or uh, cool it down ventilate it and well I know petrol engines are up to temperature pretty fast but well when you are using this you have actually no cold start in the engine yeah everything is preheated before you turn the engine on okay so that's it for today thank you for watching and see you soon